these kids may never have the opportunity to share their stories again, maybe, you know, and I want to do that for them. Hi, I'm Maxwell Poth. I am a photographer here in Los Angeles, and I also run my own photo project turned nonprofit called Project Contrast. I grew up in a small town in Utah called Bountiful, Utah. All the struggling I had happened as a teenager, uh, so I definitely, you know, feel like a lot of people have similar stories. I definitely felt alone not understanding why for a long time. Um, because where I come from, it's very cookie cutter. You have to have these expectations to reach heaven and to reach an eternity with your family. And that's where all those social pressures come where I'm from. I felt alone mainly in high school when I was learning to discover, you know, my sexuality and my identity. Coming out, I was like, okay, I'm out, I'm gay and then nobody listened to me. I got sent into the principal's office and they ignored the fact of why I was being bullied. And that's when I feel like I felt the most alone. Um, because even when I tried to like fight for who I was in my community and really just tried to show my true colors, it was just an empty room and I, um, I went back in the closet actually. I you know, met one other gay kid in the town next to me and we started talking and he told me like how it's been for him and he started to help me feel like I wasn't necessarily alone. When I, when I came out and I was the only openly gay kid, I, um, it's funny that I'm sitting here right now because you know I always watch the It Gets Better videos and it really obviously gave me hope and it gave so many people hope. So you know, that's why you're here today and you're still doing it and still making an impact. I decided to you know, go back and start photographing um, all these queer children, you know, all these queer kids, taking their photos and making them feel, you know, resilient and beautiful in who they are and giving them that confidence they need. More kids wanted to be involved and get their photo taken and share their stories and they were meeting each other and becoming friends. That's when I knew in my heart that I had to keep going and that's when I decided to um, give it a name and I called it Project Contrast and I decided to bring my project to other states and other communities where these kids might feel alone. I now travel the country and I photograph queer youth and I help amplify their stories. So when I was younger and I felt alone and you know I cried myself to sleep, it was, it was really difficult for me and you know fast forward now I never imagined a life like this. I never even imagined I would you know be working and sitting in an, a chair doing an It Gets Better video after I watched these same videos years ago. Now I live in Los Angeles, California and I am working as a photographer and I um, embrace being a gay man and I embrace being um, an artist in the LGBTQ plus community and I am, now it's my turn to give back. My advice to you would be to, one, make sure it's safe. When, uh, make sure you're in a community where you know you, you can come out and um, it's safe for you and you might have that chosen family and you might have that opportunity to be who you are and if you need to hold tight for a second longer that's okay because it does get better and I would also uh, find your resources and find the people that might be there. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a person. It can be, you know, uh, a, a center and there can be people there that can help you or maybe a therapist or someone that can be your outlet to at least be yourself until the time comes when you can fully and truly be the person you are meant to be. Hi, I'm Maxwell Poth and I'm here to tell you that it gets better.